good morning i welcome you all to the series of lectures on compressors today we are going to see the effect of clearance volume in a compressor the clearance volume is the space left in the cylinder when the piston reaches to tdc so that means uh, this is the piston cylinder arrangement for example this is the top dead center when the piston reaches to top dead center there is some volume is placed provided then that is called the clearance volume it is provided to avoid the piston striking the cylinder head if there is no clearance volume when the compression happen this piston may go on touch the cylinder so cylinder head is going to be damaged this piston will go on touch the cylinder head so it is touching all the time to the cylinder head so the engine is going to be more vibrate and more noisy to eliminate this one we have to provide the clearance valve and the second one as the valves are located in the clearance valve so because these valves are located in the clearance volume so it allows the valve saturation it allow the valve saturation because these valves are inlet valve and delivery valve are located in the clearance volume itself next a compressor should have the smallest possible clearance volume of course we have to provide the clearance volume and that to this clearance volume should be very small as small as possible because the compressor air in left in the clearance volume in the compression the comp no, in the compression process the air is get compressed and when the piston reaches to tdc the air which is inside the clearance volume remains inside even after we open the delivery valve uh, even after discharge some amount of air is remains in the clearance volume that air because the air compressed air left in the clearance volume first re expands in the cylinder during suction that means during suction the when piston starts move downward the air which is available in the clearance volume first re expand so that means the re expands in the cylinder during suction stroke when it is moving downward this air expands thus reducing the suction capacity so once the air is expanding so automatically it will affect the suction stroke that means some amount of air is occupied by the volume some amount of volume is occupied in the cylinder the some amount of the volume in the cylinder is occupied by the compressed air itself so the upcoming air is disturbed so automatically it will affect the suction capacity next clearance ratio or percentage of clearance or clearance percentage it is the ratio of clearance volume to swept volume that means vc by vs clearance volume by swept volume it may vary from 2 to 10 persons into 100 so it, it is the this value is ranging from 2 to 10 percent <coughs> now we need to discuss the effects of clearance volume if clearance volume is provided what is the effect so in this uh, here here what we are discussed why we need to provide the clearance volume if i provide more clearance volume what happen and what is the clearance percentage and clearance ratio and now we are going to see the what are the effects of clearance volume the volume of air taken is less because if clearance volume is provided here so already we i we you know we know this air in the compression stroke this air has to send out the air which is inside the clearance volume should go as it is to the outside but it is not going it remains inside so in the suction stroke the air amount of air is reduced the volume of air taken is less thus the volumetric efficiency decrease if volume of air taken into the cylinder is reduced automatically volumetric efficiency reduces second one power of more power input is required to drive the compressor for same pressure ratios as for example if the piston is going to touch the cylinder if there is no gap if there is no gap between the piston and cylinder head so automatically the compression is very very effective you will get more work more pressure ratio the p2 is more p1 means entering pressure p2 will be more if there is no gap if some gap is there to reach the same p2 pressure so i need to supply more amount of work input so more power input is required to drive the compressor for same pressure ratio to get the same pressure ratio if i provide clearance volume i need to give more work input the maximum compression pressure that means the maximum pressure is controlled by clearance volume see the maximum pressure that means after compression the compression pressure that means after compression the pressure is limited by clearance volume if clearance volume is not there the pressure is very very high and it will send to the container as it is but some amount of clearance volume provided means some amount of air is inside itself so which also reduces the pressure so that means the maximum pressure is controlled by clearance volume if clearance volume is not there you will get more more and more compression you know compression and you'll get more pressure so 
so if clearance volume is there that is affect the compression ratio that will affect the you know uh, what we called uh, exit pressure so the exit pressure is affected by or controlled by clearance volume in the next class we will derive the work input to the compressor with the clearance volume thank you very much